Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for another iRacing video and it's another TCR League race again today as we go to round three of the TCR League at Donington. So two races again, it's rounds five and six. Going into this one in the championship we are P2, sorry, no we're not on P3 with 42 points. Um, so with Charles obviously leading the championship having won every round so far and uh, Steve Green and now in P2 he overtook me after we crashed out last round. So Donington is a brand new track for me. Um, it's a track that, to be honest, I didn't purchase and start practicing very early on in the week. And so we're going into this one with not lots of kind of track experience here, but we seem to find the pace fairly quickly after only sort of like an hour or two of practice. Um, which, you know, I think that's fairly, fairly good considering the pace of the guys that are going to be around us in this race. So, yeah. Jumping into this one, um, we qualified pretty poorly. Again, we just couldn't get a run together. We didn't manage to find a tow or a draft. Um, so we'll qualify P8 for this one. But fingers crossed we can make up a couple of positions off the start line and maybe some more throughout the race. So let's jump on in and see how we get on. All right, so we're here at Donington Grand Prix layout in the TCR League. Starting P8, well, that should be promoted to P7 because uh, Thomas said... Qualified ahead, but needs to start from the pits for a penalty. Race pace in these is normally alright, so we'll see how we get on. Just need to survive the first, uh, first lap or so first, I guess. And go from there. There right, we go. All right, we're away. We need to leave lots of room on the inside here. Car right. Keep to the left. Clear. All right, couple of positions off the line then. All right, not bad, not bad, we'll take that. All the way down to second, I reckon, for this first time through here. Give the guys ahead a bit of space. That must have been close to an off track there. I got slowed down. It was for Messenger. Same here. Those boys will be fuming about that. They live on Discord voice chat throughout a race together. Throwing <laughs> um, casual banter around to each other, should we say. So they'll uh, <laughs> they'll be enjoying that quite a lot. Especially seeing as Green is out here in uh, P4, is he ahead of us? Or do we need to wait for race labs to update at the line? Terrible exit for me. You're in fifth. Left side. Keep to the right. Still there. Clear on the left. Okay. <laughs> I think they call that getting mugged. Got a terrible run out of that final uh, hairpin there, I did. And David didn't need no second invitation. Oh, Charles is already up to, <laughs> up to the position behind us, whatever that is, seventh, I guess. That was very close to a slowdown again. Car right. Clear on the right. Car 
on your left. Clear. The almightiest of sons from Charles. I expect nothing less. Seen him do that a million times before. Ain't nobody gonna be beating him, beating him on the brakes. If we could say anywhere near him, then we could use him as a bit of a uh, a wedge to get through. But as it stands, we can't can't keep up. Don't really feel like I've settled into any kind of a rhythm yet in this race. Don't really feel like the car's beneath me. Feels like every braking zone's a mystery about what's actually going to happen. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll have to take that X, I guess. Call back up to the back of David at least now. Charles getting past him did at least help slow him down a little bit. Same thing should happen as Charles catches the rest of the guys ahead. Graham's having all kinds of blinking behind us. It's not what we need to see. It's going to be way more distracting than any kind of light flashing. Decent uh, chicane for us that time. Happens are definitely sort of my weakest link at the minute though. Just can't get a good run out of them. Patrick having a good race at the front there. He was one of the fastest in practice through the week in terms of his times. He's been a bit lucky with uh, unlucky with racing incidents throughout the series so far. Uh, I think Charles might have just bumped him wide there. We'll go off in sympathy. Down to second for that corner that time. Still the car sliding all over the place. I mean, seventh isn't exactly a bad position, to be fair. Like, we're going for top ten, so if we can hold this, then that would be grand, but... <laughs> At the minute, it doesn't feel like we are going to hold on to it. <laughs> well, it just turns into us. <laughs> Don't know what happened with Ollie there. I uh, 
Don't know if he just missed his braking or what, but it was obviously massively wide in the hairpin. No arm, no foul, I don't think. Getting some horrible understeer through there, that won't be doing the front tyres any favours. Had a rough start to the season, did uh, did Ellie, didn't really have much pace at Knock Hill, but so he's found something for Donington here. Greening starting to fall back a little bit now that uh, Charles has got past him. I think Patrick's about to get the move done as well. Greening has said after a couple of races, he uh, feels like he's fast and like he's got the hang of the, the cars, but then in the race just seems to fall backwards. Similar thing might be happening just here. James O'Reilly leading the pack still. Great job from James. As Patrick starts sticking a nose inside Charles. Nice job. Spoke too soon for James, sorry mate. <laughs> so Charles in the lead from Patrick. Greening up to third again now. Bullsha muzzle in the hairpin. Car right. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Keep to the left. Bit of door banging. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Right side. And get done by Graham as well. We'll take the off track, it'll cool the tyres down. Oh, we're on nine already though. Got lucky with a run there. Stay on the right. You're in the middle. Three wide. Clear on the right. Two wide. Saw that send coming from Saturn. <laughs> 
So after all that, we're still going to be in P7. P6. Oh, Jesus. Right side. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Still there. Oh, looks like Ollie and James just run each other off the road. It's all getting a bit rough and ready in round three. <laughs> right side, left side. Clear on the left. Graham, seriously, mate, that needs to stop. Well, we've ended up a bit of an island again, would you believe, in a TCR race. It's James we're chasing down, potentially having just been run off the road by Ollie. I, I don't know, I didn't see the incident. I just saw they were side by side and then suddenly one of them was off uh, exit stage right. Uh, that was the week before that he was complaining about people in quali. Got quite a short fuse as Graham, I think. All right, James's time across the line versus ours. Let's have a look. Eight times faster. Not really catching him much this lap though. Gap was 2.2 .2 at the line, it's still 2.2. .2. I think he'll maybe just be getting some uh, some draft from Ollie ahead of him. I mean, he was leading for a lot of the race to be fair, so. Oh, it's the understeer is getting real bad now. This time I make a brake bias adjustment though, the, uh, the back end just gets real tail happy.
Hey oh dear. Nah, James has got the pace then. He was faster than my last lap, and now I'm just falling off the road anyway. In P6 though, we'd definitely be included in the reverse grid. Positions to reverse are from P6 to P12. So example before, if we were in P7 and P6 was the number that was drawn, then uh, we'd have been outside the reverse grid, we'd have started in 7th place still. So there's no way we'll miss out on the draw at least. We'll start race 2 ahead of all the guys that are uh, ahead of us right now. Gap from uh, Patrick to Charles looks still quite close. Chose this layout for the uh, for the series because I thought there'd be more overtaking opportunities without having the, the extra corners versus the national layout, but I don't necessarily think that's turned out to be the case. Might be in trouble for race two then, depending on where we start. There's, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of fast guys on the grid today. Was that at the start? Top 10 would be a bonus. P6, almost a P5. We'll uh, we'll take that, I guess. You got a slow car on the right. There's the flag. It's over. All right. Could have been better, could have been worse, like we said, aiming for the top 10, so we've managed to smash that. It would have been nice to have got the top 5, but I think by the time the race settled down there, um, kind of James was just too far ahead of us in that one, so yeah, the gap was too big to try and close him down for that P5, but we'll take a P6, definitely. It's much better than ending in the wall like we did last race, so um, jumping into this next one, the reverse grid position that was drawn was P8, so that's going to put us in P3 for this second race, just behind Graham, who's going to be uh, on pole for this one. So same thing, let's see if we can try and grab a couple of positions off the start and have a nice clean race at the end see if we can make a double good round points for this one at Donington alright race 2 at Donington we put in plenty of fuel to finish the race here we go Decent launch. <laughs> I meant to look to the side and flush grave instead. We're a bit hot, but it's just about all right. Oh, we're very hot this time. <laughs> we're gonna get swallowed up by the park. Ooh. 
god. Oh, they're all understeering. Yeah. We're coming right up. We're, we're going to go right on top. Ah, we're going to we're going to pick you up. Have you Oh my god, what happened there? Dom turned across me! I've got no wheels. Oh, I've got a toe. Looks like your car is Let's go, Reese. Well, that was certainly not what we uh, what we had planned on the car to this one. What a disappointingly, frustratingly deflating way <laughs> for race two to end from such a good position on the grid. Obviously, coming round turn one in the lead, yeah, we just absolutely messed up the, uh, the braking down the bottom of the curves there. We could have been in the lead coming out of the curves, but... We followed Graham <laughs> straight in, uh, straight off on on his mistake. We just followed him directly, and that uh, that killed our run coming out of that corner. Um, obviously, you saw Greenan's reaction there. We uh, we were chatting afterwards. I jumped onto their Discord that I mentioned in race one, and um, I think in the end, we decided it was probably a racing incident between the two of us. Maybe it was just being nice. I don't know, but uh, you can see it on the screen here. And I think this looks quite bad from the uh, the offboard shot here because it sort of looks like I jank really far right. Um, but if you just look at the steering down here in the bottom, you can see that actually I just straighten the wheel ever so slightly. Like it's not that I turn right. I'm just trying to sort of find a gap to slot in behind Graham. And what Steve actually said is that he kind of acknowledged that I was slow off the corner and that he was actually trying to pin me in behind Graham. So it's just a case of I was trying to move a little bit right, he was trying to move a little bit left, and we met in the middle. I think we both agree that the uh, the contact that iRacing gave us for that was pretty unfair. Um, yeah, I mean, we just sort of get magnetised together and then that's the end of it. But uh, yeah, so so here on the track, like, You'd expect to be out here on this curb, ready for the swing round. So that's where I expected him to be. And uh, yeah, like I said, he was trying to pin me in behind Graham. You can see his his line there just before we make contact. He's arrowing for this gap to try and get side by side and box me in. So yeah, we're just sort of racing hard um, at the at the start of the race there, and um, just a racing incident. Neither of us reported it or anything. There wasn't really much to say about it, was there? Only like two cars crashing in a straight line. It's uh, it's not ideal, but we'll fight on to the next. It does look a lot worse on me from the offboard, to be fair. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't want to be hugging this. In, you don't want to be where Graham is here anyway, so I'm surprised Graham's taking that line. But anyway, it is what it is. That's the end of that one. And we'll uh, move on to the next round, which will be at Snetterton, which will be another new track for us. That's bumped us down to P4 in the championship with 52 points. So now uh, Fre <laughs> French David Le Chatelier is ahead of us. And I'm purposely stumbling over that name because we've been... <laughs> We've been having a laugh about it on Discord. Um, so yeah, P4 for us. Looking to try and recover some of those points um, next time out, but that's probably going to be another dropped round for us after Alton Park last time as well. So uh, yeah, Charles obviously um, leading the championship. He went on and won this race again as well. So that's six in a row for the pro. Probably not surprising, but it'd be nice if someone else gets a win at some point also. But yeah, that's going to be everything for this one. So you know the drill. Broadcast race will be uh, in the link below once it's published. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Drop us a comment if you want to throw me some abuse for that contract. contact. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you've not done that already. Join the Discord if you want to come race with us. That'll be down there as well. But other than that, take it easy and look after yourself. I'll catch you in the next one.